Howdy ho guys, it's Kesmir, and I'm back with The Walking Dead. Um, I think we're getting another flashback with Clementine, so let's see what story we get now. This stinks. Literally and figuratively. At least this is the last of them. From here on out, we have Hal's to ourselves. Sounds nice, right? Now we just need some disinfectant. Get that smell out of there once and for all. It'll do for now. Feels good to have a roof over our heads at least. Ew. Ugh. This is the kind of shit Kenny was capable of. Carver deserved what was coming to him, of course, but that's just brutal. I don't know how you could even watch that. Yeah, you've said that before. Brutal. And the sounds he must have made. Ugh. Just so fucked up. I needed to know that it was over. That he was gone for good. She don't remember that, here. but she's gonna Never be dead in a couple days. Fuck's body again. Here. Take a load off. I've got the little goofball. Hope he hasn't eaten too recently. He hasn't. Good. The last thing I need is to be covered in puke again. Don't puke on me, kid. You hear me? Oh boy. It's all right, I got it. Ta-da. I don't need you. Come on, we can get out this way. We'll say it again, he's like the world's best baby. You know, I was pretty worried about you back there. But I guess I didn't need to be. You had things handled, like usual. That's because I learned from the best. I'm glad you're okay. If only Rebecca could see you two together. You guys don't even need me. You just get in the way. You're more than capable on your own. You proved that back there. You're family. We're all family. Rebecca would feel the same way. Thanks, Clem. Go on, take him. He wants his other mom. Thanks, Clem. We'll always have each other. Until as long as we have that, we'll be okay. Until one of you kill yourselves. Cough, cough. <laughs> Is this after she lost AJ? To David and them? I think it is, because look, this is where she... She hid with AJ.
Who's there? All right, all right. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. I know. I'm sorry, too. I didn't want to piss anyone off, but I had to help AJ. None of this has been easy for you. I know. Look, it's not much, but here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you. This. Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me... Staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. They're out there. You may have needed one, but I don't. Everybody needs one sooner or later. They're the only good things we have these days. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Glenn. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. Nice work. Thanks. Just glad I could help. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. Any chance he got out too? 
I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel <laughs> bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. That's not fair. David can be a good father. Maybe to his own kids. That doesn't mean I trust him with AJ. You should. David Garcia is a good man. Yeah, I'm sure he'd agree with you. Sorry if I don't. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Tomorrow's another day. I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Javi, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. Ah. I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <laughs> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ. Just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Joan's rounding up all the alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find buddy sorry Clem oh hey uh, hi Clementine surprised to see you here yeah right back at you you all good yeah we're all set let's roll mm, good to see you What a pleasant experience. Good to see you too. Javi, you're back. And Clementine, 
Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. Oh. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? He was definitely not 100% there. That's for sure. Sounds about right. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now, how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We light the match, the people do the rest. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but way better than nothing people are going to be patrolling these streets looking for us how far away is this truck i'll show you we've been expanding pushing out further making the safe zone even bigger can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet but that's where the truck's parked <laughs> i could spit and hit it we steal that thing nothing will be able to stop us steal what hey jesus javi is that blood on your shirt you said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Oh, calm Things down. Went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. I thought you guys were going to be careful out there. Hey, hey. Don't worry about it. It is what it is. I thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor. Can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. You're out of control, Gabe. First the shit at the armory, now this. How am I supposed to trust you to do anything? How are any of us? 
Nobody here is going to let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. But you thought killing him would be easier. Don't do this, kid. Not right now. <laughs> no time like the present. You shot him. <laughs> you killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? Yep. You murdered my friend? Sorry, Trip. What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. You let me think the walkers had killed him. You were just fucking lying this whole time? He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was going to shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? <laughs> I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Well, maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer. You'll probably kill us too. Sure. Okay. I'm leaving. I'll solo it. You wouldn't want to be around me right now either. We better go get that truck. I'll uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. Gabe's a turd. Oh, Gabe had to come with us? Lame. So, you come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. Yeah, Clem. Let's leave Gabe and Kate. They're both losers. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. Keeping watch is an important job, too. Not as important as getting that truck. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. <laughs> I think he's thinking with his little head, guys. What do you want, Javi? I know it sucks sometimes. You've got to be a team player. It's about thinking of everyone. I get it, okay? Just quit treating me like a kid all the time. Well, then. There's some zombies over there. Well, I think when I called you out for freaking jumping out of that guard... I don't think I was treating like a kid. I was like, what the heck? What are you doing? Um, I think we're going to end this one here. So, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. <laughs> I just, I don't know. That Gabe kid just kind of grates on me. He has the whole time.